a domestic diva, sometimes we need some good shortcuts, and I always like having um, puff pastry and crescent rolls and various refrigerated doughs on hand because you never know when you need to make something and you don't have time to make it from scratch. These give you a lot of flexibility and it allows you to actually be really creative. And so I'm going to show you just interesting ways you can actually fill these crescent rolls for a quick dessert if people stop by or your kids are wanting something sweet. And really the only thing that, uh, the only limitation is really your imagination. So you need your oven at about 350 and I've got a baking sheet with some parchment and I've pulled out lots of fun different things that you can fill these with. So we're going to open our can Pops open. These just are so great to have on hand. You just never know what fun things you can do with these. So I'm going to keep them as crescent rolls today. I'm just going to show you some what I like to fill them with. So one of my simplest things to do is a hazelnut chocolate spread and IE Nutella. And just spread it right on there. And if you want to get fancy, you could do some ground nuts right on top. Uh, hazelnuts would be nice because this is a hazelnut spread, so it just kind of enhances the flavor. Take your short end and roll it. Give it a little bit of a twist or an arc, if you will. Place it on your parchment lined baking sheet. How easy is that? Let's do a kind of a chocolate peanut butter, kind of my favorite combo. So I'm gonna work my triangle just a little bit, flattening it out. I've got a little ramekin here, and I've got a little peanut butter. I'm gonna sprinkle a little sugar. Little splash of vanilla. And a little sprinkling of flour. I stir it up so that the sugar dissolves. The flour just adds a little bit of a binder as it, you know, heats up, it kind of Makes it more of a, a stiffer filling. So, we're gonna just lightly spread our peanut butter filling carefully. I've got little mini chocolate chips that I'm just gonna Sprinkle on top. Short end, roll tightly. Definitely get those little morsels in there, right? Make into a crescent. one is going to be you know you can fill these with just some sugar spices and nuts and it's very very simple so that's a handful of some um, ground up finely finely chopped pistachios I'm doing just a gentle sprinkle of cinnamon and some sugar 
give that a mix. Another nice uh, addition, rather than sugar, you could also use honey or some maple syrup with a nut, which is kind of nice. A little bit more of an earthy flavor. I'm also gonna just add just a, a dash of salt. And just sprinkle that in there. And with nuts, sometimes it's nice to do a little bit of a, like a orange zest, which would have been nice with this. Now, at this point, you want to tap, because this is kind of a more of a dry ingredient. So tap that into your dough so that it kind of sticks. And then roll. So for a cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake one, I've got a little bowl and I'm going to just use some cream, softened cream cheese. This is actually a whipped cream cheese, which makes it go quicker, honestly. Because like I said, this is all about speed. This is kind of a shortcut way to get some baked treats. Handful of powdered sugar. Just a little heavy pinch of uh, flour and a splash of vanilla. So again, I'm just doing two here. If you want to do the whole batch, you probably like just need to double it and, you know, taste it. Make sure it's sweet enough. And you're putting the flour in because, you know, cheese melts in the heat and you just kind of want it to, to hold a little bit, bind it. You could also use an egg. And if I were doing the whole batch, I would probably add an egg to this. So take half, because I got two. Spread evenly. Now at this point, you could do a couple things. If you've got um, crumpled up graham crackers, you can put them on there and just roll them up to do just a simple version of a cheesecake. I know my husband likes strawberry. This is actually a strawberry basil jam I made this summer. If you're interested in this recipe, go to the blog. And you're just gonna drizzle, drizzle your favorite jam on here. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. And roll it up. Okay, so here are our filled crescent treats. And you can see, you get the idea. You can fill them with anything. Just get really creative with it. Um, you know, another version you could do is do a lemon curd with maybe some ground up graham, cra graham crackers. Um, you could do a s'more version with some marshmallow fluff, graham crackers, and some chocolate chips. Sky's the limit. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes. You want them puffy and golden. There we go, right out of the oven. They took about 13 minutes total. You want them nice and golden and puffy, which they are. Now, at this point, you can cool them down um, and then you can drizzle them. I would probably do a confectioner's sugar, a little milk, a little vanilla drizzle on um, especially the cheesecake one and the pistachio one. The pistachio one, you could do a little orange juice with the confectioner's sugar. Um, to get a little citrus in there and then definitely a chocolate drizzle for the Nutella and the chocolate peanut butter. So have some fun. Always have some dough on hand. See what you can do with it. Super, super easy. Thanks for watching today on Fridays with Flora. Have a great weekend and please push the button that says subscribe down below. It really helps us out. And um, <clears throat> if you're looking for some great gifts, especially for Mother's Day, stop by the blog. There's a shop link and uh, you can check out some of my new um, Mother's Day items that I just designed last month for Mother's Day. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful spring weekend. Unfortunately, it's going to snow in Chicago <laughs> again. But for the rest of you, enjoy the spring weather. Bye. <laughs>